Topic 10. Refraction of Light. Part 1. Refractive Index. Refraction. What is refraction? It is a bending of waves due to a change in velocity. Light is a form of waves, so light rays also bend. Refraction or bending of light waves from medium 1 to medium 2. Medium 1, for example, could be air. Medium 2 is water, say. And it says here, uh, optically less dense medium. Air is less dense optically than water. Water is optically denser medium. What that means is light waves travel slower in denser medium. And so here we have a ray of light traveling through air, then entering water. And the wavelength, which is from that point to that point, from one crest to the next, the wavelength shortens. So the waves slow down. But the important thing to remember is frequency of waves does not change. In other words, the number of waves per second still remains the same. Here we have a ray of light going through the air and entering glass, slowing down as it does so, then speeding up as it re-enters the air. Here we have a glass block and the laser beam shining from air into glass and back into air again. So here we have slowing down, speeding up. It is important for you to remember the name of each light ray and the name of each angle. Here we have a real light from the air into glass. So this ray is called incident ray, as I've learned in previous topic. And then the ray that enters the glass is called refracted because it's bent, refracted ray. There is a bit of Reflection as well. There's a small reflected ray, not that clear. This angle, of course, is the angle of incidence. That angle is the angle of refraction. This angle here is the angle of reflection. Some real angles, as an example, this angle, first of all, is the angle of incidence, 50. This angle is the angle of refraction, not that one. This is 30. That's 30. That's also 30 alternate angles. And then this angle here, 50, back to 50 here, like that. And make sure you know the names of these rays again. Incident ray, refracted ray. That's in relation to this glass face. Now this refracted ray becomes the incident ray for this glass face. And this is the new refracted ray. Now we look at refractive index, symbolized by the letter N. Now based on the definition of refractive index, the light ray must come from the air into another medium. It could be water, glass, perspex, diamond, any transparent substance must be transparent. And the law of refractive index says that the sine of the angle of incidence in the air over the sine of refraction in another medium is a constant. And that constant is called refractive index, symbolized by the letter N. For example, the N of refractive index for glass is about 1.5. Here we have an example of light going from the air into glass. The refractive index of glass is 1.52 and you are asked to find angle theta which is angle R, angle of refraction. So theta is R. So first of all, we quote the formula from the previous slide and rearrange it so that sine R is a subject because we are asked to find R. And you can work through these details yourself. Finally, R is equal to 30.3 degrees. In other words, theta is equal to 30.3 degrees. 
In this example, we have a ray of light going from glass into air, instead of from air to glass. But there are two points to note. It says here, light rays are reversible. In other words, it can go out this way, it can also come back the same path, on the same path. Second point is, the definitional refractive index assumes that light ray comes from the air into another medium. So here, for this formula to work, we had to assume that light goes the other way, from air into glass. So this is the angle of incidence. That's the angle of refraction, even though, really, this is the angle of incidence because light ray comes from glass, and that's the angle of refraction. But for the formula to work, as I said, we had to assume the reverse order. Incidence, refraction. So once again, we rearrange the formula, make sine i the subject, because this is the angle of incidence based on the definition. And you work through all the details, you'll find that I, or theta, equal to 77.7 .7 degrees. Refractive index can also be expressed in terms of speeds of light. So, refractive index of medium X is equal to speed of light in the air divided by speed of light in that medium X. Look at this example here. The medium X in this case is glass, and given the refractive index of glass being 1.52, you had to work out the speed of light in glass. Have a go and then take your answers against mine on the next slide. So the final answer is the speed of light in glass is 1.97 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. As against speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second.